With us we have Howard Goldberg, the president of the World Boxing Federation. Now, Howard, you are here to um, promote the fight between Harry Simon and Tony Dodson on the 30th of September. Tell us about that. Well, as you know, that uh, Harry Simon is a former world, undefeated world champion, uh, had a couple of mishaps uh, in activity, motor accident. Uh, he came back last year with two fights, uh, two knockouts. We were approached. We think he deserves an opportunity. He's fighting Tony Dodson of, of England from Liverpool. 27 wins, half of them by knockout, six losses. Uh, somebody that I've seen fight, a really tough come forward fighter. Um, and I think that if Harry is dedicated in the next seven, eight weeks and gets his act together and is fit and up to it, um, it's going to be one hell of a fight. Right, tell us a bit about the WBF as well. Um, as you mentioned, you were involved with the David Hay fight as well. My vice president, uh, Marcel, John, uh, Marcel is not, is currently the head of the German Boxing Commission. Um, the value that people see in him and his integrity led him to being the supervisor for Klitschko Hay. Uh, and that just illustrates the strength of the administration within my organization. Um, we, we are growing very quickly. We've had fights all over the world. I've just come back from Korea and Ireland and Brazil literally in the last five weeks. Uh, we have champions in Mexico, Korea, Ireland, Australia, America. Uh, Dimitri Salito, who's got 33 wins and one loss, is fighting in New York for our world title. Uh, we, you know, we, we're a growing organization. We're open, we're honest, we're transparent. Uh, there's no nonsense with us. And our passion is boxing. You know, unlike other organizations where there are other genders, ours is not. We, we promote boxing and fighters and with me being in Africa it's an opportunity to help push the continent. Right, that's what I wanted to ask you. Um, Namibian boxing, you said you, you think there's some good boxers and what will this fight do for Namibian boxing do you think? I think it opens potentially a lot of doors. Um, I think Harry's going to be the catalyst for developing boxing and he obviously has got to deliver on the night of the 30th. Um, there are lots of little titles going around, uh, African titles, etc. And we want to give fighters who deserve world title fights, we want to give them opportunity. But obviously they've got to, be, they've got to qualify and they've got to be quality fighters. And there are in Namibia, there are, you know, I can mention a couple of names offhand. You've got Paulus Moses, you've got uh, Smokey Longwe, uh, Bethel Shona. You've got some really talented fighters here who deserve the opportunities.